we've got some NBA news for you. There are things happening in the NBA world that are just so exciting that we don't know which one to focus on at the moment. From the Kevin Durant drama to homophobic comments by players, there's a lot happening. And more so, Orlando Magic is back, and Paolo Banchero said he's fired up to be with them. Strange times, huh? Let's talk more about it in this video. Starting with Magic's back, tell a friend. Like we said, strange times. It's been quite a while since we saw the Orlando Magic the last time, and when they actually mattered in the NBA. Sounds pretty mean, but that's the truth. But who cares what we think when Magic has Paolo Banchero very excited about being with this team? Not only that, but he's hell-bent on changing it too. So he's coming off as a franchise savior, isn't he? And we bet that's what Magic is obviously hoping for as well. And Banchero isn't worried about being the savior and having all that expectation attached to him. If anything, Paolo Banchero is loving the fact that he's now playing on the same team as the guys he used to watch growing up in Washington, mainly Markel Fultz and Terrence Ross. He even tweeted that we really grew up watching T. Ross and Markel at UW going crazy in heck ed. And now that they're on the same team, which is lit. And to make sure we knew how lit it really was, he ended the tweet with a bonfire emoji. If you remember, Bonchero used to play college basketball for the Duke Blue Devils, even though he's from Seattle. So long before he became a hotshot under Mike Krzyzewski, he was apparently a fan first of the Washington Huskies. But too bad for the Huskies, Paolo Bonchero's beautiful memories of watching Fultz and Ross didn't translate to them. And they didn't recruit him, so he decided to take his talents to Durham. Next up, he got to give his all. And now that he's with the Magic, the focus for him will be on carrying this big weight immediately for the team and helping them get back on their feet. With his talent, we're pretty confident it wouldn't be that big of an issue. But let's not forget that it also wouldn't be a walk in the park. We're talking about a team here that missed eight playoffs in the last 10 seasons. And that's an insane margin. Sure, Bonchero's talents are praiseworthy, but he also has his work cut out for him with the way his team's performed recently. Not just that, but the Magic also haven't gone beyond the first round in the last four times they went to the playoffs. The last time they did even that was back in the 2010-2011 NBA season. So it's been quite a long time since the team's seen any success, and the managers and representatives must have all their hopes on the new talent that they've recruited. Who knows, he just might turn their luck around. Now of course, Bonchero, as amazing as he might be, can't alone do all the grunt work. So together with the likes of Cole Anthony, Franz Wagner, and Mo Bamba, Paolo will look to lead this young Orlando Magic team to more success. That'll be in this rookie year. He's been so consistent with his performance that in his only season with the Blue Devils, he averaged 17.2 points, 7.8 rebounds, and 3.2 assists throughout 39 games. These figures honestly speak for themselves. Moving forward, the twists in the tail. And if the Magic are putting all their eggs in Bonchero's baskets, they're maybe not going about this the wrong way. Maybe he's just the savior this team needs. We'll see that once the games begin. Even though they've got him now, that wasn't always going to be the case. Before before they landed him first overall in the 2022 NBA draft, he was actually preparing to go to the Houston Rockets. Paolo Banchero even gave an interview about it to Yahoo Sports, where he said that all the stuff that's being put out there indicates that he was going to go number three to Houston, and that's where his mind was too. He said he was fine with it and was going to be happy wherever he ended up because he knew at the end of the day he'd be just fine. He did confess that his initial mind was made up for Houston, and he thought that's where his head was at. Well, that didn't really happen, and that's a point in Magic's favor, we believe. The Rockets selected Jabari. Smith Jr. with the third overall pick after Bonchero and Chet Holmgren were drafted with the top two picks. There were, of course, twists in the NBA draft as well. The experts said that Smith was going to land with the Magic, but their Zoom call with Bonchero just two days before the draft apparently changed everything, finishing off with the All-American. And we guess that call is when Orlando became more of a desirable place for Bonchero because he said that he liked what they were showing him. Well, to be fair, they do have a great staff, and with his first meeting with them in Chicago during the Combine, he got good vibes. And liked what they were talking about. He continued to say, all the reports were that they weren't really considering me. Then they made it clear before the draft that none of those reports were true and that they were very much interested in me. So that's when I kind of knew that it might not be Houston. All eyes on him, huh? We have no doubts that he's going to be the future star of the NBA. And if he does well with the Magic and helps them get better and qualify for the playoffs, at least he's going to have a big future. And why shouldn't he be? He's one of the best prospects available in the 2022 class after his utterly outstanding freshman season at Duke, in which he was an all-American. Some still question the magic.
Magic's decision to draft Bonchero, but he balled out in his only two NBA Summer League games, so we're guessing the Magic hasn't made a bad decision. With the numbers he has on the board, no doubt he's in line to have a solid rookie season in the NBA. Now, let's talk a bit about some other NBA news. In other related news, beginning with NBA's Anthony Edwards apologizes after posting homophobic comments. Minnesota Timberwolves star Anthony Edwards issued an apology after he shared a homophobic Instagram story with his 1.2 million followers. The 22-year-old said in the story that he was observing a group of men and described them as before he used a racial slur. After he was brutally criticized everywhere, he apologized and said that what he said was immature, hurtful, and disrespectful, and that he was incredibly sorry. He also said that it was unacceptable for him to use such language and that he was raised better than that. And there's no doubt that he's going to be fine over the comments by the NBA. And who knows if his apology is real or if he's only done it because he's the number one draft pick. Let's next talk about Argentina's four-time NBA champ, Ginobili, entering the Hall of Fame. Four-time NBA champion, Manu Ginobili of Argentina, Look back with warmth and fondness on a career that crossed three continents and comprised an Olympic gold when he entered the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. A creative and unpredictable guard, Ginobili, whose celebrated Eurostep confused all defenders, was greeted by cheers from fans when he started speaking at Symphony. He was inducted into the 2022 Hall of Fame class with five-time NBA All-Star Tim Hardaway and many other huge names in sports. It was pretty amazing to see him be loved and recognized for all he's done for the game. The 45-year-old won four titles with the San Antonio Spurs. In his speech, he acknowledged that for players like him, individual accomplishments are actually team honors, and he isn't here because he's special, but because he was part of the two most important teams. Lastly, Golden State Warriors consider reunion with Kevin Durant. When is Durant not in the news? And with this drafting season, he's been everywhere, and everyone wants him, from the best teams to the most average. The Golden State Warriors make winning championships look very easy. They recently passed the Chicago Bulls for the third most championships in NBA history, when they won the 2022 NBA Finals and claimed their seventh championship in team history. And this team would do anything and pay anything to compete well in the championships. This became obvious when it was revealed that they considered a reunion with Durant after first signing him in 2016 and losing him in 2019 to Brooklyn Nets. Things haven't been smooth sailing between the Nets and Durant, and Durant even requested a trade, in which the Warriors were actually very interested. This was all revealed when Steph Curry recently spoke with Rolling Stone and opened up about both his and and the team's interest in possibly reuniting with Durant. That's it from our side for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or thoughts about Paolo Bonchero revealing that he's fired up to be with the magic, let us know in the comments below. See you in the next one.